This is Akashvani. In the program Spotlight, we now bring you an exclusive interview with Chanchal Kumar, Secretary, Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, on various initiatives for the overall development of the Northeastern Region. The interviewer is Aditya Shukla, Akashvani correspondent. Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region is continuously working for the development of Northeast. In next 15 minutes, we will discuss various projects being initiated by the ministry in northeastern states. And to discuss on this, we have Secretary Ministry of Donor Chanchal Kumar with us. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Can you elaborate on the efforts being made by the Ministry of Donor for the development of northeastern region? The aim and mandate of the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region is to ensure sustainable and rapid development of the northeastern region in collaboration with various ministries of Government of India. It is a ministry with territorial mandate. This ministry acts as a link between the northeastern region and various ministries of Government of India, so that the benefits of all the schemes and programs of Government of India in different ministries they reach each and every person in the northeastern region. Apart from this, many projects are being run under schemes of donor and schemes of NEC in the ministry itself. For example, Agartala Akhara Railway project it was inaugurated last year. Indian side of the project has been sanctioned from. Ministry of Donor, and this has improved regional connectivity. This has given fillip to the trade and facilitation of that region, and has also added to the economic activities in that region. The projects for the development of Northeast also complements the Actist policy of the Government of India. Is it so? Yes, Honorable Prime Minister has been emphasizing on the Actist policy, and it is in that context we have given a focused attention to all the developmental projects in the Northeast. We play a very important coordination mandate. Our role is to talk to each of the ministries, all the eight states, and see that ministries, programs, and projects are implemented in full spirit, and the benefits accrue to the citizen. So we have a very regular coordinating role, and we regularly monitor the schemes and programs of all the ministries. As the nodal agency for developmental journey in Northeast, we play that role, and we have been seeing a very positive and significant change in the economic scenario in the northeastern region. If you talk about the important projects that are being underway in northeastern region, so can you name some of them? Yes, that's a good question. In fact, uh, mandate of this ministry is not only to coordinate with other ministries, but also as gap funding to directly sanction and implement schemes in various sectors in the northeastern region. I'd like to inform everyone through your medium that the government of India is implementing many schemes through this ministry in the field of education, health, road, electricity. tourism water supply for the holistic development of the northeastern region some of the important projects which are ongoing are establishment of state cancer institute at itanagar in arunachal pradesh establishment of medical college at siv sagar in assam also conversion of 20 government schools in kamrup district into centers of excellence under education sector in assam only then we also have electrical substation in dimapur in nagaland we have also sanctioned infrastructure creation in manipur it scz zone at mantri pukhri imphal we have also sanctioned ropeway project skyway project in uh, sikkim near bhali dunga we have also approved establishment of 200 bedded maternity and child care wing in tripura we have also sanctioned establishment of it park at tura in west karo district of meghalaya construction of aizal bypass in mizoram is also sanctioned by us in addition to this there are many large significant substantial projects in different fields which have been sanctioned by us many have been completed and others are ongoing these projects will play a very vital role in the field of medical infrastructure livelihood sector employment generation in the northeastern region there is a huge potential of tourism in northeastern region as we all know so what kind of efforts is the ministry of donor making in this field tourism can major role in the development of northeastern region and the ministry is making all out efforts at various levels to achieve this at present we have made efforts to promote facilities for tourists at the place where most tourists visit where the footfall is very high we are also identifying new tourist destinations and trying and sanctioning ways and means to promote them we have also sanctioned many projects to develop facilities for tourists at these places projects to improve connectivity in these areas that also get high priority the ministry has formed a interministerial tourism task force the mandate of this task force is to talk to all the stakeholders all the state governments and tourism stakeholders and make efforts so that we can see that number of footfalls in the 
नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन इट इंक्रीज सब्सटेंसली वी इन कंसल्टेशन विथ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड वन टूरिज्म साइट इन ईच स्टेट विच मे बी डेवलप्ड एज अ आइकॉनिक मॉडल टूरिज्म डेस्टिनेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ गैप्स इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑन दीज आइडेंटिफाइड टूरिज्म साइट इज अंडर वे वी आर टॉकिंग टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड सून आफ्टर दिस कंसल्टेशन प्रोसेस इज ओवर वील बी इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दैम Let me also inform you that Ministry of Tourism has sanctioned 22 viewpoints in North Eastern region at a cost of around 48.5 crore rupees, and this is being implemented by NHIDCL, PSU of Government of India. The aim of the project is to boost tourism by developing viewpoints at scenic locations in suitable sites in the North Eastern region. This will improve tourism footfall in that area. In addition, we have sanctioned many projects, as I discussed, tourism infrastructure, ropeway, skywalk. in north eastern region and nowadays we are in deep consultation with all the states we have told them in case they find that there is some site where some infrastructure gap needs to be filled and infrastructure needs to be created then we will be willing to sanction them under the schemes of m donor and schemes of nec the north eastern region has witnessed a lot of development in the field of agriculture and handicraft especially please tell our listeners something about the activities being done by the ministry for the welfare of farmers and handicraftsmen etc in north eastern state so ministry of dona through continuous dialogue with various ministries of government of india like skill development and entrepreneurship agriculture and farmers welfare msme culture tourism we are trying to ensure that north eastern region gets the benefit of all their schemes besides the ministry is also carrying out activities through its own public sector undertakings in north eastern region we have a organization called netfi north eastern development finance corporation which was constituted to aid and assist entrepreneurs and startups in the north eastern region so this netfi has launched a digital initiative called nires north eastern regional agri commodity e connect in july 2024 in collaboration with north eastern council and the aim is to provide market linkage for agricultural and horticultural produce from the north eastern region both for fresh and processed farms in addition we have seen that agarwood is an emerging sector with huge export potential in north east region and many states are involved in this the agarwood sector in the north east region holds significant potential for economic growth as well as for international trade recognizing its potential the ministry has constituted an interministerial task force to streamline and enhance the agarwood industry in the region towards sustainable development and global competitiveness the task force has given its report given its realistic and comprehensive policy interventions and recommendations and we are in touch with different ministries to see how the road map for sustainable development of agarwood can be implemented in north eastern region in addition to that we have a public sector undertaking called nira map this has created a network of 34500 farmers across north eastern region and also formed 220 farmer producer companies in nir it has developed three brands any fresh one one and any premium and markets local agri horticulture produce after value addition it has also created over 250 agro based value added packaged and branded product and promoted them under its retail segment it has skilled over 12000 youth of the north eastern region in agri horticultural trades through skill development and training Neramec has also conducted several international national buyer seller meets across the states to develop direct market linkages amongst all the agri horticulture related stakeholders. Neramec farmers and entrepreneurs of North Eastern region have participated in various national level events like Suraj Kund Mela, World Food India and they've got exposure to marketing and networking. We have another CPSC called North Eastern Handloom and Handicraft Corporation NEHSDC. They also provide platforms to the artisans of the North East region to showcase their exquisite handicraft products, traditional art forms and rich cultural heritage to the global consumers through various craft fairs and art festivals. In fact, let me tell you in 2023, NEHSDC also signed an MOU with Haryana Tourism Corporation for partnership in Suraj Kund International Crafts Mela with North Eastern region as the focus area for the next 5 years. In addition to this, we have also participated in programs like Vivitta Kamrit Mahotsav in Rashtrapati Bhavan this year, earlier, and India Art Festival at Rashtrapati Nilam Hyderabad last month. These events have given good platform for the artisans and entrepreneurs of North East region to connect with the rest of the country and rest of the world consumers. Sir, we have seen in the last ten years there has been a tectonic shift in New Delhi, or the central government sees or interacts with the North Eastern states. If we talk about the Honorable Prime Minister's vision towards the North Eastern region, that is, Prime Minister has himself visited, I think, around seventy. 
times in last 10 years to the northeast. This is the number of the Prime Minister's visit to northeastern states. So, uh, Prime Minister has also asked every union minister to visit northeastern states. So, I would like to ask, what is the progress in this regard? Honorable Prime Minister has given focus to activist policy and in order to accelerate the pace of development in the northeastern region and to increase the impact of all the projects, programs, schemes being implemented by different ministries of government of India, it was decided by the Honorable Prime Minister that a union minister should visit each northeastern state every 15 days. And the ministry conducts and coordinates these visits by nominating union ministers to visit the northeastern states on a rotation basis every month since 2015. If I give you some data, from 2015 till date, Honorable Prime Minister has visited more than 60 times. Honorable Union Ministers have visited more than 715 times. In order to streamline and enhance the monitoring of these visits, the ministry has also launched a portal called Purvata Sampark Setu, which provides key insights and graphical information about state-wise, district-wise visits of Honorable Union Ministers to the Northeast. This can be used by all the stakeholders. Let me tell you that when an Honorable Minister goes to the Northeastern region, he also meets the beneficiaries of these programs and schemes. He talks to the implementing agency, the departments of the state government and other stakeholders. And in case there are lacuna, he points it to us and we take corrective measures. There have been occasions when many honorable ministers have given good suggestions as to how to increase the efficiency of these programs, how to make some different policy interventions. So whatever recommendations come from honorable ministers' visit, we monitor them with all the different ministries on a very regular basis and see that these recommendations are implemented in later and spirit. So we have talked about various aspects with regard to the development in northeastern states. Now let's come to the question of investment. What kind of opportunities do the ministry see for the investment in the northeastern region and what is being done by your ministry, sir? Government of India is working for the development of the northeast region through various schemes of different ministries. Let me tell you that one of the mandate of this ministry is also to ensure that 10% of the gross budgetary support of all the ministries, non-exempt ministries, there are 54 such ministries, whom we ensure that they spend at least 10% of their GBS in northeastern region. Do a regular meeting with all these ministries, all quarterly expenditures are monitored. You'll be happy to note that in the last 10 years, against a target of 5.15 lakh crore. We have already spent more than 5.22 lakh crore, which is around 1.5% more than the target, 7,000 crore more than the target. And if you see the last year only, in the year 23-24, against a target of 92,000 crore, we have spent more than 1,2749 crore. So much of public investment from government ministries, it has created a very favorable economic situation and an ecosystem. If you see the GDP growth rate of that area is higher than the growth rate of the rest of the country. This has been possible because of the focused public investment by different ministries through various schemes in this. So besides this, the ministry is also making various efforts in the development of the northeast region. And if any private sector investor wants to come, we are trying to facilitate that. As a part of the pre-event activities of Northeast Investor Summit, which we intend to hold in 2025, we have undertaken various activities regarding investment promotion. We have concluded six state roundtable conferences, ambassadors meeting, meetings with foreign chambers, associations of commerce, industries, road shows in Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Bangalore. Along with all the eight states, we also participated in the vibrant Gujarat trade show in 2024. In the month of March 2024, we organized a MOU signing event in which more than 82 MOUs worth 30,000 crore rupees were exchanged. Now we are in the process of discussing and monitoring with all the state government to see how these investments are grounded. In addition to this, the ministry has also offered to strengthen the state investment promotion agencies in the northeastern region. And we have signed a bilateral agreement with Invest India in this regard. The ministry is also working to invest strengthen the northeast investment scenario by discussing with the state government encouraging them to formulate investor friendly incentive policy industrial policy sectoral policy thank you sir for giving insights into the development projects that are going on in northeast and an overall view thank you so much sir for talking to akashwadi thank you very much you were listening to an exclusive interview with chanchal kumar Secretary, Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region on various initiatives for the overall development of the Northeastern Region. The interviewer was Aditya Shukla, Akashwani correspondent. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of Akashwani.